Hey everybody, I want to take a minute and share with you a leadership thought. And this goes out to all of our small group leaders and ministry team leaders. So you guys know three and a half years ago, Melissa and I, our, our kids, we moved here to start a church called Home. And in three and a half years of watching small groups launch and watching ministry teams just continue to launch, uh, going back and having conversation with leaders and, and learning from them and, and watching them and discussing with them, after three and a half years, there are, there are four things that I really believe if we will continue to do these four things, we will continue to reach more and more people for Jesus. And there are four things that I have learned by leading small groups, by leading ministry teams, by leading a church, and by watching other people lead. These are four things that I believe if we will do these four things, if you will do as a leader these four things, your ministry team will continue to, to flourish, continue to blossom. Your small group will continue to grow and more leaders be developed and reproduce more small groups. So here are four words that I really want you to think about today. Here's the first one, care. Each word begins with C. I'm making it easy for you, all right? The first word is care. The more we care for the people that God brings to us, the more people God will continue to bring to us. I think everybody wants to really know the answer to two questions. Number one, do you really care about me? And number two, can I really trust you with my stuff? And I think the more we care for people, the more we continue to love on people, the more we care for people, the more people God will send us. So number one, as a leader, think about that. Communicating to your, to your team, to your small group, the fact that you really care and God really cares about them. Here's the second C word, and that's communicate. I've watched leaders who communicate well with their team. I've watched leaders who communicate well with their small group. Their teams continue to flourish. Their groups continue to flourish. They continue to grow, and then other leaders are, are identified, and they reproduce another small group. And the more we communicate the more our leadership flourishes. I had a friend tell me one time uh, that bitterness begins where there's a lack of communication. And so one of the things that Melissa and I do is when we lead a small group like we are this semester, we're, we're leading a life group at, at Mark and Angela Cook's house Tuesday night, 6.30. They're, everybody in our group, they're all adults. They have kids of their own. But every week, usually it's the night before our group, I text everybody and I tell them, hey, I'm praying for you by name this week. And I can't wait to, to hang out with you tomorrow night at, at the cookhouse at 6.30. So some people would say, I mean, they're, they're adults. Do you really need to remind them every week uh, where and when you're meeting? I, I want to constantly communicate what we're doing, why we're doing it, where we're doing it at. I want to keep our group in front of them. And some of our groups that have been just huge hits, uh, that is a common characteristic, a constant communication with the people in their group. Uh, hey, the when, the where, the why, all of that. So here's, here's the third C word. You ready? Here's the third C word. It is consistency. So if I care for people, if I communicate with the people in my group, on my ministry team, and I keep things consistent then my ministry will continue to flourish. So I'll, I'll just use one, um, the Odie's Book group, Goodies group or the Seasoned Disciples group, you know, Xenia and, and JW. Man, JW just went on to be with the Lord and, and I, I just so love him, I so love Xenia. And, and one of the things they do all the time, and Xenia is really good at this, is she will text. Their group meets on the same Friday every month and she'll text throughout the month just a little text to everybody in their group. They keep the meeting consistent. So it's the same Friday every month. You know, what if leading our small group, Melissa and I, what if one week we decided we're not going to meet Tuesday, we're going to meet Thursday. And the next week, I, I think we'll just meet Saturday afternoon this week. Well, that lack of consistency, well, I'll watch my group, uh, the folks in my group just drop off little by little. So three things, care, let people know you care. Number two, communicate with them well on a regular basis. Keep what's going on in front of them. Three, keep it consistent. And here's the fourth one, create memories. I love this one. 
Create memories. Have fun. Take pictures when you do things. Take pictures. Post it on social media. You know, I mean, just any way that you can, create a memory. Pictures are the best way. Video, whatever you can do to grab that moment and create a memory. Uh, somebody said, whatever you celebrate, that's what you'll duplicate. Or as some people say it, whatever gets rewarded gets repeated. And so when we blast things on, on social media and, and we, you know, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, whatever, when we just throw out pictures, what we're doing is, is, is we're celebrating, we're rewarding in a way the people that we're doing life with and, and whatever celebrated is duplicated. So four C words as a leader to, to remember, care, communicate, consistency, and creating memories. And I'm telling you, as we continue to do more and more of that, our ministries are going to continue to flourish and we're going to continue to reach more and more people for Jesus. So I hope you enjoy that leadership thought today. God bless you guys. I appreciate so much what each of you do.